today we're dealing with Ziggy. Whoa, she will take a finger off. Oh, look how big Ziggy, oh. Around 80 teeth inside that mouth. This is fun. <laughs> Huzzah. It's all about reading the body language of the crocodile. Oh, watch out. What is going on, my beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. Today, we're dealing with Ziggy. I know a lot of you guys want to see Ziggy and get a little update. So we're gonna use this new pump to pump out her little tub, get it nice and clean, spray it out, make sure it's nice and good. Uh, I'm sure you're wondering why my dog is wearing pants right now. Well, it's a simple explanation. To catch a crocodile that's already aware that you're trying to catch it, you need to blindfold it. And nothing better than my dog's favorite pair of shorts. We're gonna wet this so it mats down, it's nice and heavy, got some weight. Stop it, you'll get another pair of shorts. This is her favorite pair. She likes to play b-ball with these. Anyways, we're gonna wet this and use this to cover Ziggy's eyes so we can capture her without getting uh, a little a little touch up, you know what I mean? All right, Barra, let's go clean a crop tub. We're just gonna open up this big top. What we're gonna just do is put this baby right here. Ziggy, hopefully Ziggy doesn't get too cantankerous. This is supposed to be a really good pump. So this is gonna literally just get all that water out in a short amount of time. And if you guys notice this, I realized that when I painted this, I should have hit it with a sander and made the surface rough so the paint would stick to it. Now, the paint is starting to actually come off, this non-toxic pond paint. So I'm probably gonna have to peel off as much of that as possible. Woohoo! As much of this as possible because I don't want that floating around. Ziggy starts to chew up on it. It's not gonna kill her, but obviously I don't want this stuff flaking off in her water anymore. And hopefully this pump works exactly as it's advertised. Oh my goodness. Oh. Don't make fun of me! Damn bird of prey. What in Sam Dickens is this? Now we're good to go. We're gonna stick the hose right through. All you gotta do is plug it in and it pumps away. Ooh, anticipation. Ooh, ooh, yeah. We got some pumping action. Slowly but surely. I guess it takes a second. What is going on here? Wow, this, this is really slow. I thought this would make things faster. We're gonna be here a while. I could barely hydrate a hibiscus plant with this. All right, this pump sucks. So I'm going the old fashioned way. This is fun. <laughs> Huzzah! Oh, it's swish, swish. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Maintenance. Ah. It's my mouth. Did you know there's a drink in the Northern Territory of Australia? It's called Crocodile Piss. Send me some Australians. I'm almost done! Oh! That was 3D! Uh, subscribe and you'll you'll get 3D glasses! Watch out! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> oh, uh. 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 Ain't easy being a herper. Taking care of crocs. Taking care of I don't know, crested geckos, whatever you take care of, it ain't easy work. Oh, those crocodiles. Yeah. Enough of this. Oh, I think I just shocked my hand. Anyways, beautiful people, this is a waste of time. Trained out the old school way. Ah. Nothing like some exercise. Yeah. I haven't had time to go to the gym in the last couple weeks. Because I've been filming and editing and taking care of animals and filming and editing and taking care of animals and... Sleep, repeat, sleep, repeat. I love my life. Follow your dreams, stay passionate about what you love. Because you'll never work a day in your life.
Did you guys see the trailer for Doctor Strange 2? I love Marvel! Watch out, Vera! Oh, shoots! Scoots! I think I'm done now. All right. We gotta convince Ziggy to go into the water. Come on, Ziggy. Go, baby. Come on. Come on. Good girl. She knows what I'm up to, so I'd like to make this nice and smooth. You see how she launched at me? Take, whoa, she will take a finger off. So definitely gotta be careful. Come on, Ziggy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, she's tearing apart Barra's favorite pair of shorts. No. Make this nice and easy. Let's see what we can do here without getting bit. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh, look how big Ziggy. Oh, look how big Ziggy's gone. Holy smokes. Oh, she's so strong. Look at that crocodile. Holy smokes, guys. I am so proud of this crocodile. Look how big she has gotten. Holy smokes. Woo, Ziggy, she's no longer little, guys. I am so proud of this crocodile. Look how big she has gotten. She is such a muscle right now, too. Look at those jaws. 3,500 pounds per square inch pressure when they're full grown. Crocodiles literally have the strongest bite force of any animal on the planet. Even one this size could snip your finger off like a hibiscus flower. Holy smokes, look at that. She's such a beast. Basically a living mosasaur. Something that lives in the ocean, hunts marine life, and is perfectly adapted to live out there in the salt water. And a lot of people assume that saltwater crocs and American crocodiles need to live in salt water, and that's not the fact at all. These guys are perfectly adapted to live in any environment. Look at that, look at those teeth. Those teeth will cut you wide open. I can tell you guys from experience. So I need to be super careful. I do not want to take a bite. This crocodile could hurt me so bad, it's not even funny. Look at her. What a beast. Let's back up. We're gonna put her right, right inside this tote. There we go, nice and easy. One of the last times I grabbed her, she almost took away my mobility of my hand. She bit me right here and almost severed the major tendon for this finger right here. Gnarly stuff, but I love my crocodiles. It's so worth the risk. I really just enjoy being around them and I can't wait to see Ziggy in a nice big natural enclosure. Start training her again. Get her to be trained to the T. As you guys remember, she used to be like a dog. You say come, she'd come. You say stay, she stays. You say hold, she was sit there like a rock. You can wave food around her face. She wouldn't try to eat it. She's just such a good crocodile. We're gonna get her back to that state as soon as we get her a nice big enclosure. So let me see. I think what I'm gonna do is see if I can lift that. Nope, that's really heavy. So what I'm gonna do is get the rest of this water out, spray it out really good, get some fresh water for her. Ah, have a look at this beautiful oasis. Of a, of a pool, look at this. We scraped off all the paint, nice fresh water, filling it up. We got a big old bucket full of scraped off paints. Take this, these special pair of shorts my dog uses because this is the only thing I can use to capture Ziggy in her state of crankiness. Look at her. Woo, she is not happy. Look how beautiful she is. Let's do this nice and smooth because I love her to death and I having to grab her the way I have to grab her, but it is the way you gotta deal with these crocs when they're this size most dangerous size to deal with because oh man this is the most dangerous size to deal with because they're so small they can do crazy maneuvers big crocodiles can't do and then a crocodile smaller than this isn't really big enough to cause any damage it's all about reading the body language of the crocodile oh watch out holy smokes dude nearly lost your finger not going to be able to play any video games with uh, no fingers <laughs> relax ziggy so the thing is she's super athletic very ah very cranky all right Got a stick right here. This is good, so if she bites down on it, it won't hurt its heat. There we go. Woo! All right, little lady. Relax, relax. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Look at her tail wagging right now. She's so upset. Tally ho! Aha! A captured crocodile we have. Look at this specimen. There we go. Look at that. Woo! That's a crocodile. Look at that croc. If you saw that in the wild, you'd say, Woo! That's a beautiful specimen. All right, remember the last time.
Woo! Look at her. Beautiful dragon of the water. Look at her. She's such a gorgeous looking crocodile. I love her to death. All right, so let me move this big tote out of the way. We're going to take uh, some treats so she's nice and happy. We got chicks and rats right here. Most likely she won't eat right now because she's all flustered, but she'll eat that food in a moment. Let me get it right over here. What we're going to do is just close this up, secure the top, and now let's, let's go set up that Texas Indigo and its new setup. All right, guys, last but not least, we're going to give a little text. Well, I said big Tex, because he's going to be a big Texas Indigo eventually. We're going to take his water dish out, take him out of here, and give him his new setup. Got to be super gentle, because he just ate a mouse fuzzy the other day. Ooh, look how beautiful he is. Look at those little white chevrons, kind of like a little king cobra. Dude, he is so cool. He's going to be such a beast one day. So we're going to give him the old spitting cobra enclosure. Just cleaned it, just remulched it, sanitized the whole area. He's got a nice hide in there. We're gonna let him crawl away. He's gonna have all that space. We're gonna give him this water dish for now and then we're gonna give him a bigger one. Oh, or he disappeared in the back of the enclosure. There he goes, he's gone. All right, let's put a lock on that. Make sure it's nice and secure. There we go. Little, little Tex has his nice enclosure now. He's gonna be doing good. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, stay passionate about what you guys love. And also, don't forget to check us out on trailerswildlife.com so you can get your merchandise and help us with a big build out of this facility. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe. I love you and stick to what you love. Ain't easy being a herper.